yeah, it's a great event. It was a great day, too, so it was fun. What is that experience like, I guess, for the guys? I'm sure you kind of talk to them before you go about the Yeah, we kind of play, you know, the uh, the foundation, Stephen Siller, the, the foundation. Uh, they have uh, – uh, he was on uh, um, Oprah Winfrey, so we kind of showed the show in the morning and, you know, FDNY and – uh, the police and the fire department. We talk a little bit about it because you know, you know, I'm getting aged now. Th these guys are young when it happened. Some of them weren't even, you know, right. weren't even born, so I don't know the history that it was. So we we talk a little bit about it and what all the benefits are and what where the money's raised goes. Great causes for veterans and you know, making homes and diff different things. So it's really it's really a great day and, and you see how powerful Rutgers Nation is too. A lot of Rutgers people, you know, affiliated with Rutgers. So. You know, just try to tell our guys these are great community service events and, and why we do it is, is, is for a lot of reasons, but it goes to support a great cause. And, you know, and then we went to the memorial and, and you know, after that and stuff, which is really neat. So a little history and, and, and community service all wrapped in one. Steve, I wanted to ask you about the one-on-one -on -one drill, which really got my attention on uh, Friday. Where does that drill come from? Is that a Calhoun drill? Or did you kind of make it up? Yeah, we've kind of, you know, we've done that forever when I was at Connecticut and stuff. We've changed it. We put a little twist on it all the time. You know, you go full court, you do sometimes half court. You can do a three-quarter court. Um, you know, just really getting guys to compete. It's a competitive drill. You know, we don't call a lot of fouls in that drill. And, you know, there's a little toughness and got to guard people. And can move guys around, big guys' wings, move the wings around, put the big guys sometime on the perimeter. You know, they always like to do things they can't do. So, uh, you know, just one of those drills, again, that, you, you know, just evolved and, and uh, we'll change it up as we keep moving, moving forward. How do you design the pairings and the matchups and the, the key to the whole thing, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, we like to just move guys around. So sometimes see different players against different players and uh, different skill sets against different. And defenders, you know, sometimes we pick an all, all defensive team with our best defenders and our best offensive players and see if, defense can beat the offense you know just different pairings that, that we have and right now we're kind of paired position wise so we've just been kind of right. going in that direction fives guarding fives and twos guarding twos that kind of thing what have uh what have you liked what have you seen from uh practice since friday you know a coachable real coachable group um hard working i love the fact i can slow things down and teach and then crank them back up again in practice um, it was hard, you know, last year we had a, you know, personality of once, if we, if we got them going 100 miles an hour, the minute we stopped to teach, we couldn't get them back to 100 miles an hour. This group kind of can do a little bit of both. So a little more versatility in how they kind of go about practice. So I like that a lot. I like we're more competitive. I think we're, we're much more athletic. You know, so there's some things I like and we're, you know, but we're young. That's exciting to me too, young guys. And, making their young mistakes and, and uh, teaching them for a coachable group. Almost uh, all these guys are guys that you recruited. So does that help, you know, when you're trying to, to coach them to know that these are your guys? Yeah, I mean, I think they're Rutgers guys. You know, they wanted to come to Rutgers. So, you know, I do. I think they have those personalities anyways. They're coachable. And that's that's why they're here. They, they like to be in the gym. We had yesterday off. They were all in the gym. You know, so some good traits to this group. I know it's it's early and it's – Seasons, you know, just beginning, but you know they got some good characteristics of some leadership and some in the gym and enthusiastic about practice. So you know, hopefully we can carry those those through for the whole year. Be a great sign. Are those traits you look for when you're out on the recruiting trail and kids, the kids that want to be in the gym? And yeah, I mean, you really try to. You know, that's something that I always loved as a as a player, and I think that's when you get better. You know, when nobody's watching, and I like those kind of kids that are. In the gym when nobody's watching, and these kids seem to really like that. You know, you'll come here any any time, and someone's here. You'll hear a ball bouncing, and it's become a little bit of a trait of, of these guys. And hopefully, it continue. And hopefully, you see the benefits of that too. Like I think all the guys that have come back are better. You know, I see that in practice two, practice three. Like they're all better. It's a great sign, and they got to continue, continue that. How big of a difference is there from Miles last year at this time to this year? This yeah, the night and day. You know, that's really uh, – he's 34 pounds lighter. That's the first thing. He's more athletic. He's more confident. Um, you know, I think any time the second go around for these – you know, we're teaching drills now to six new – well, Peter Kiss and the Miles aren't newcomers, but to the newcomers, those guys are veterans. So they already they, – they don't have that adjustment to, you know, our early play sets and our early defensive philosophy. 
but Miles is a really good shot blocker, great hands, can really score around the basket, um, and has gotten a lot better. His bounce is more, his vertical jump is up. You know, like I think he has a chance, especially now he's a freshman, to, to be a really good player for us for four years. How good of a free throw shooter is Kiss? Peter Kiss is, you know what he is? He's a confident, you know, he's a confident shooter. Um, and, you know, he's a free throw shooter that wants to take the free throws, you know, so um, there's good free throw shooters. And then there's those guys that want the ball at the end of a game. He's going to want the ball at the end of the game. So those are the guys I really like, right. you know, um, those are the tough free throws. But yeah, he, 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 he's a confident shooter in, in all areas, uh, which I like yeah. and we need. Steve, at the end of the practice, you pick a player to take a shot, a free throw that can stop everybody from doing the wind sprints. How do you select that player? It just depends on if I want them to do wind sprints or not. <laughs> you know, it just depends on how I want to end practice. Uh, no, I like putting a little pressure on guys and picking some different guys. And you know, I love the guys that raise their hand and then they go up there and don't make it. Then they have to run extra, you know, type of deal. So uh, you know, every day it's just, it's just uh, different. I, I usually tend to, you know, the point guards. You know, because those are guys that are going to have the ball at the end of the game. But, you know, every now and then I mix it up just when they think that they get a little comfortable with that. I throw in, throw in a couple curveballs. Is that a Calhoun thing too, or did you develop that along the way? No, I mean, I think, you know, you know, we've struggled, and there's no doubt, with, with our free throw shooting. So, I mean, I've been fortunate. I've coached some really good free throw shooting teams. Didn't have to do as many free throw creativity drills. Uh, but here we do a lot of them because we got to get better at that area. So some way I like that in practice and put a little pressure on him you know, and uh, I think that's a good thing. Shaq Carter how has he been and is it weird having two guys named Shaq on the same team? Yeah, well the guys call him but you know you got big Shaq and little Shaq and I said little Shaq's pretty big too <laughs> at 265 so uh, uh, you know you got the American Shaq and you got the Netherlands too so uh, but uh, he's been great he's got a great motor he's really coachable you know he's got good hands he can score around the post he's just got good bounce you know I'm excited about him he's a great kid I mean he does everything you ask you know and he'll be like today if you watch practice you'll say well this kid doesn't take a play off and he really works he's still figuring some things out but uh yeah I'm really excited about what he'll add to the program and he's a legitimate 6'9 265 I mean he's, he's put together